Good morning. Why are we at Volvo Diesel? Why are we at Volvo? We drive a Freightliner. What are we doing here? I don't know, man. You haven't told me. And what did they say, Sergeant? Look at your ears. Looking fantastic, man. So glad your ears are popping up. Good boy. They grow up so quickly. Sergeant, you want to tell them? You want to tell them what happened? You want to tell them what happened? Yeah, exactly. Should have watched yesterday's vlog. So, I'll fill you in if you haven't. <clears throat> we are at Volvo here because they are the only shop that could receive or fix me today. All the other shops are backed up for close to a week. So, we came here. Uh, the reason I'm here is it doesn't really matter what shop I go to, what dealership I go to, because my pinion seal is leaking. I showed it on yesterday's vlog. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you will have I would have shown it to you there. Uh, so it's leaking pretty badly. It's not a big issue. It's actually a pretty decently cheap, cheap fix. Uh, good thing I caught it when I did, though, because it could have turned out to be something huge. Like if I would have burnt out my rear end, I would have had to replace everything. Thousands of dollars. Now it'll be like a $40 part plus labor and waiting time. But they said that they'll get me in today. And the, the only other shop that could get me in soon was tomorrow afternoon. So, yeah, <laughs> I rushed on down to Volvo. About 25 kilometers down the road, or about like 15 miles. And uh, I can drive short distances, right? Because I have oil in my differential. It's just leaking, and I don't want it to all leak out. I just filled it up. So the good people here at Volvo are going to take care of me. They're going to get me into the shop in an hour or two or so. And they're going to take a look at it and replace whatever needs to be replaced. Hopefully it's just the pinion seal and not the bearing in there or anything else. You never know. It could grow into something bigger. It usually does. But that's where we're at today. And this guy's obsessed with Mr. Slithers. Diesel loves this toy too, you know, so don't wreck it. It's his. What do you think of this situation, man? What do you think of this situation? And a big old pile of rocks. I wonder why they got a big old pile of rocks over there. Fascinating, fascinating. We're in a rest area here. Uh, in Kentucky, we're in Williamsburg, Kentucky. A little rest area here. It was packed here last night. But, whew. Diesel, how you doing this morning? Morning. So we spent all day yesterday getting this truck fixed. That pinion seal was leaking, right? It's fixed. You guys want to see it? All right, so we're going to go underneath the truck here again. Just like we did the other day. Come on over here. And there it is. See that shiny piece in there? Sort of shiny, the silver piece there. That's the new pinion seal. No more leaking. No more leaking. Even though it sort of looks like it does, I checked. They just steam clean that, so it's just shiny. But it looks kind of wet, but it's just shiny. There we go. Good to go. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to roll and rock. Oh yeah. So let's get back out there on the road. Yesterday wasn't that long of a day uh, driving wise, but we made it far enough that we can get to our destination in Guelph, Ontario today or tonight. So we're gonna cross the border into Canada. We're gonna cross from Detroit, Michigan into, oh, what is it? Windsor, Ontario. I had a brain fart there. I just woke up. But anyways, guys, let's get going. I want to get going because I want to get some miles in. And we are back on the road. Took them all day to fix it, but they fixed it and they stuck to their quote. They quoted me for about three hours of labor. Three and a half, I think. And it took them all day. But they stuck to their quote. So I got the truck repaired at uh, Vanguard truck centers. It's a Volvo dealer in uh, south of Resaca, Georgia. Between Cartersville and Resaca, Georgia on uh, whatever interstate this is here. <laughs> what do I know? I-75 North, I think. Nice motorhome. Nice motorhome. Anyways, uh, so yeah, they did a good job. They were friendly about it. They got me in really quick on short notice. They ran into Atlanta to get the part that I needed for very little, like for 10 bucks. It was a very small charge to go get that part, so. Uh, otherwise, they'd have to wait for it to be delivered tomorrow, 
right? So now they got me on the road today instead. A day early. So a big thank you to them and the good people there. It feels good to be rolling again. I think all the problems again for a while have been fixed until the next thing breaks. Absolutely, rebuilding my truck one piece at a time. I've got bugs on my windshield. What do you know? This is a way station. All commercial vehicles have got to go in here when it's open. And they're letting me bypass. You see the arrow up above? Bypass. Thank you very much. Go through their little fancy scanner here. Thank you. See if they'll still clear me. I-75. Thank you very much. Very nice not to speak with you, Mr. DOT. And we're back on our way. For those of you who don't drive truck, every commercial vehicle has to go through these scales. We uh, have a limit of how much weight we can haul. If we're overweight, it's a big fine. In the United States, generally we're allowed to haul 80,000 pounds. That's gross weight. And in Canada, it varies province to province. But uh, in Manitoba, with the kind of unit I have, I'm allowed to haul 87,500 pounds. Oh, this is an odd sight. <laughs> that guy's really good at backing up. So we're still in Kentucky here. Enjoying the good scenery. Can you imagine if trucks could back up that fast? It'd be insane. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna show you some scenery out here in uh, Kentucky. I believe we're about an hour from Georgetown. It's a beautiful day to be on the roads. Beautiful day to be in Kentucky. And yes, I got my band. Sarge, you got anything else to add to this vlog today yet? We got our truck fixed, we got back on the road, and we're on our way up to Ontario. Your ears are looking pretty good. You gotta work a little harder on this one though, buddy. Work a little harder on that one there. How you doing back there, Diesel? Your ears are looking great. I'm obsessed with ears, apparently. Aren't I? Aren't I? <laughs> well, thanks for joining us today, guys. We uh, had a little bit of downtime. But we made it through it and now we're on our way to Ontario. You will see that in tomorrow's vlog. Anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time, tomorrow. I will see you then. Don't forget to go down below to the description, guys. Don't forget to send in your uh, input or your suggestion for the new logos. Remember, I am uh, 
gonna take all the logos that come in and start using them in the upcoming vlogs. You can start watching for your logo. Send them to my email. Uh, you can go to the contact us page of truckerjosh.com or even better yet, send them to me on Twitter with hashtag truckerjoshlogo and I can find them that way. I look forward to seeing them guys. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.